All right, so I made a new part file. I'm going to try to give you a, a way to do a mock-up of this one because this one is a little bit funky. It's got a few things going on. we got some weird angles. So I'm going to give you an option or kind of a way to do it or approach it. Um, and if you're doing this as your first part, it'll also give you an idea of maybe how to get into Inventor uh, from just given a physical part. So I've got my dial caliper. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start with looking at this. I can see the ring and sort of a rectangle that comes off of it. So I'm going to look at how big is this gap? How big is that hole? All right, so I got 2.61. So then over in Inventor, I'll start a 2D sketch. Doesn't really matter which one I pick. Uh, I'm going to make a circle and I'm going to do two point, sorry, point two six one. So that's the inside. Now the outside of this, which is also part of that, you need to measure so that kind of got the thickness of the ring. So that's point three one four, or sorry, point three three four. So again, from the middle, going out, 0.334. So that's going to set up kind of the ring. Um, but then I want to figure out this rectangle. So one thing I can do is kind of measure, again, we're doing this a little rough, from the top of that to the other side. And I'm going to make a construction line. So it's just a line I'm going to use to help me build the rest of this. So that's 0.474. And that line, which is, again, just kind of a test, is from the top going straight down. So I want to make sure I see that snap. And I said 0.474. Yep. Okay. So that's from the ring to the bottom here. So now how far is it over to the side? So the width of this thing is 0 0.256. That's the full width. So what I can actually do is if I know the full width, so 0 0.256, but it's half that distance, I can put divided by two. And it'll actually do the math for me. So that 0.128 is what I have there to one side, and I'll do the same for the other one, 0.128. And I can go right up to where it intersects, and I can go from right up to where that intersects. Okay. So what that does is it gives me kind of this surface, that shape. Now it does taper a little bit there, we can do this a couple ways. One we could do is kind of an estimate is holding this in place. We can see like how big of a difference is that angle. So from the middle, it goes down about 0 0.054. So if I want to get that taper in there, what I could do is go from the middle 0 0.054. So I have a location, and I'm just drawing lines here to set this up for myself. Because I know it's here, and then over the course of that it goes down, 0 0.054. So that's just setting up my taper. So then I could delete these lines, or just ignore them for now. I'll delete the middle line, though. Because that's the shape I want. So that's actually going to set me up for this, for just the top bit. And that is 0 0.021 for thickness. So that's how far I'll extrude it. And I only want to extrude the ring, both sides, and this bit. And the distance, 0 0.021, that's as thick as it is. So I can just say, OK. So there we go. That sets up the top of this shape. So 
So the orientation is kind of like this. Now to do this, we're going to need to do a couple of things kind of together. So I'm going to, I'm going to ignore the ball for right now. So this, I'm just going to make as like a rectangle for right now, um, just to get that shape. So I already have the width, so the length of this rectangle, I'll ignore the ball on the bottom, is 1.412. So I need a new sketch on the bottom to draw off the bottom. So I'm going to take that shape that I had originally, it's kind of like that, Does this go right across? No, it has a little bit of thickness to it. So that goes in about 0 0.079. Oh wait, how far does it go? Okay, so not including the part that sticks out on that. Uh, it's like 0 0.06. So that's the, like the part that sticks out and the thickness of it. So I'll extrude that. So I want the length of this not including that, so I'll actually use the interfaces on this. Right there. Uh, so that's 1.456. Say okay. So now I've at least got something to start with. Now I don't have the contour of it. To get the contour that I want for like that taper, what I can do is I can figure out how thick is it on the bottom here and I'm just gonna try to get it down to that. So down on the bottom here it's only point, it's pretty much dead on point one. Point, point one, I don't know. 0.123. So I'm going to make a new sketch here. And what I want to do with that is I want to get rid of the rest of it. That's not part of kind of the final shape. So I'm going to drag this until it snaps to the middle. Just get the line there. This is just a reference line. So this is a construction line. And then I need to go over and I said 0 0.1, 0 0.13. So I'm going to go over half. But if I go 0.13 divided by 2. It'll do the math for me. I'll do the same thing off to the other side. 0.13 divided by 2. Hit enter. So that's how small it needs to get. So what I need it to do is get rid of the triangle from the top there to there. I missed. So it's this triangle in here that I'm going to try to remove using a negative extrusion, cut extrusion. So I want that to taper in like that. Okay, down to here, over to here. Right click, okay. So if I get rid of those two, it should look more like the pen cap. So I'm going to extrude now that shape and that shape, but for Boolean, I'm going to pick cut so they go away. So now they're gone. Okay, so I'm going to continue um, from here. I had to edit the clip because I messed up. So what I want to do is, and this is something I've showed some of you, because on my actual piece, it's hollow in there, and there's a function called shell, which again, I showed some people. Um, and it's right here, it's very easy to use. So it's called shell. I'm going to click on this face here because I want it to be hollow in there. I measured the thickness of the material to be 0 0.025. So I'm going to use that 
uh, as the thickness of the wall. So it's going to keep those walls and it's going to get rid of that face. So if I click it, you can see that now it's all, it's all hollow. And then what I'm going to do down here, because it's still left part of that, uh, is I'm going to remove that with a negative extrusion and I'll draw a box to do that. So I'll draw a box down here. I'm just going to click to the ends of those lines there and there. So it snaps on that. And I'm going to do a negative extrusion for that. So we can do a cut. Uh, I'm going to go back to about... Uh, I'm going to go back about 0 0.05. So about 0.05 gets me far enough in because the next thing I'm going to do is try to work on the ball. So the size of this ball is it's about 0.0275. Or sorry, 0 0.0175. So to make the ball, I gotta make a half circle and revolve it. So if I get another sketch on that now inner face, or farther in face, I'm gonna draw my circle uh, somewhere around here. So 0 0.0175, or sorry, 0 0.175. And I'm gonna move it so I'm going to select the circle, and I'm going to select the middle. Kind of eyeballing it here, I'm just going to keep it about centered, just so it's just barely sticking out on those sides like that. And I'll say done. I'm going to draw a line. If I centered my circle, I'm going to just draw straight down from the line that's already there. And I want that to be a vertical line, so I want to see that constraint. So I've got a line down the middle of my circle, and it's centered on my pen cap. Right click OK. Then I'm going to revolve it so that's my shape around that axis. Um, and I was experimenting with this earlier so the sizing is a little... I want it to kind of meld in with that as it is on this to kind of have it smoothed out. There's a couple of ways to do that that I can get into later. But this will get it connected at least for now. If you want to try making the sphere a little bit bigger so it meshes better that's fine too or moving it up. Um, if I want to go back in for example and change maybe the size of that circle I went into the revolution into the sketch. So maybe rather than 0.175 I'll just do it as 0.2 just for this model and now it kind of looks more accurate. Maybe I could also try pushing it back a little bit further if you have a way to measure it please let me know. Um, but essentially this is how you make the pen clip. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this will give you a place to start if you're not 100% sure how to even get into this. Uh, and let me know what I can help with. Thank you.